What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today is a video that's a little off topic from the rest of the channel, but I think that I need to put this content out there because uh, I, I want to help others that are in the situation that I was in. So I recently just took and passed the Ohio Pesticide Commercial Applicators License. So this process was very convoluted and there wasn't a lot of information online. So I'm here to make this video today. If you're not into that, um, if you're a regular subscriber and looking at my content uh, and, and uh, expecting that, today's video is not that. So uh, stay tuned for Thursday's video and uh, we'll continue on with the whole theme of the channel. So if you're here for the Ohio Pesticide Applicator training and how to kind of get through it uh, and what is entailed, stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's get down to the real reason why we're here, and let's go through uh, what it takes to get a commercial pesticide applicator license and, and just what you should expect. So first of all, I'm gonna take you on screen here to uh, agri.ohio.gov. Um, you're gonna go into pesticide license and registration uh, under commercial pesticide applicator. Uh, that includes uh, wood destroying insects and trained service person. So. Any, any individual who personally or by his or her agent owns or operates a pesticide business or is going to spray blah, 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 uh, you, you need to have a commercial applicator license. So the annual fee is $35. So initially when you go to fill out this application, you are going to submit that $35. Uh, you, this license will uh, reoccur every year. You need to pay $35 every single year. After three years, you need to go back and take the exam again to make sure that you're current. Makes sense. You're out there spraying on people's properties and for the state, blah, 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 whatever you do. So once you go, once you have that taken care of, I don't know where I just clicked, uh, you will get the commercial pesticide applicator license application. You fill this bad boy out, uh, you come down here, the fee of $35. Okay, you want to mark your reciprocity. If you're looking for reciprocity in other states, you can select that here, and that will allow you to spray in those states as well that we have reciprocity. So coming on down here, pesticide usage categories. You may check four or less categories with this application. This will allow you to get the training material from that specific uh, that specific area. So I selected a bunch of these um, initially, but I only took uh, uh, category five, which is industrial vegetation, such as roadways, public water courses, utility right of ways, uh, stuff to power stations, industrial sites, parking lots, schools, etc., etc. Uh, 6C is ornamental weed, uh, it's exterior of landscape beds, trees, shrubs, sidewalks, driveways. Um, everything that you would spray in 6C is all, is all covered under industrial vegetation. So I'm glad that the ladies there at the Ohio State branch were able to, uh, were able to tell me this. So uh, we'll get down to that here in a second. So once you get your application filled out and you send in your $35, they're going to send you your study material. So first things first, you get a study guide. Um, you get all of the different books that you might have uh, that you might have chosen on the list, up to four categories, um, and then you're really just here to study, right? Now, um, I would have been lost if I didn't go to the course. So I highly recommend going to the Ohio State Education uh, Extension and taking their course that they offer. So. Let's get down to the beans of that. So if you want to sign up for the class, which I highly recommend, it is $30 for the morning session and $35 for the afternoon session. Uh, it might be flip-flopped, I don't know, uh, but it's, it's pretty awesome. So you go down to uh, the, the Ohio State University Extension uh, at the Department of Agriculture in Reynoldsburg, Ohio. Uh, it's it's a really an awesome facility. So you walk in and there are a lot of people that 
uh, are there to just help you. So I kind of came in uh, not knowing much of anything. There weren't any videos online. Naturally, I'm a millennial. I'm on YouTube. Let's see if there's a video about it. Well, here my video is going to be the next time that you search for it. So the morning session was for the core course and the service person, uh, trained service person. So from 9 a.m. to about uh, uh, 12 o'clock was the morning session on core, which is basic laws and just overall basics of how to spray and how to be effective and how not to mess people's stuff up. So uh, it was a pretty good class. So registration started at 8.30. I was one, uh, I think I was the first person there at 8.15. Uh, and, and they helped me through the way. It was very, very helpful for me to sign up ahead of time and go ahead and um, have already paid and pre-registered because literally I just went in, they said, who are you? Boom, got me checked off on the list. If you're already pre-registered, you can go down for the test and tell them, hey, you'd like to take an exam on the same day. Check the two uh, areas that you'd like to take an exam and boom, you're done, you're registered, you're going into the class. So uh, we sat up in the or we set up in the classroom, a roll in a picture here, uh, very nice atmosphere, uh, big PowerPoint, uh, the lady had a microphone, uh, everybody could hear well, uh, you uh, start to class, right? So the very, the very uh, morning class, or the very beginning, is all about laws and regulations. So if you're going for a trained service person, uh, you only need to take the morning session because you are not really the commercial applicator. You're not going to have the license. You're just a trained service person working under them. So you only need to take the, the morning class, which is very, very easy. They're nice and slow. Uh, they got you on everything, explain to you how to do calculations, how to do basic label reading, blah, 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 blah. Too easy. Then we have lunch. Lunch was a very, uh, a very good uh, catered meal from... Uh, Somewhere nearby I'd never heard of, but that's usually all catering places. Um, and then we kicked the afternoon session at 1 o'clock. So at 1300, um, it got a little real. Uh, she started laying on the information, and you know you could obviously tell that we had switched gears into the commercial applicator license, um, and she expected that the uh, real players were here to uh, you know get it done. So we went through uh, principles, weed control principles, and herbicide technology, or uh, terminology. Uh, we went through all the detailed stuff and then we broke out into turf or industrial vegetation. So I went to the industrial vegetation side because that's what I was doing was getting my category five. Um, and then we went over applications and calculations and noxious weeds and all of that stuff. So they laid it on really, really thick in the afternoon. So from one to three thirty, it was absolutely insane. They were throwing so much information at you, and I was, uh, to be honest, a little overwhelmed. But nonetheless, um, you know, if you're pre-registered, you're already you're already signed up for the exam when you get there. From that, you are rolling right into the exam. So they took us back over into the room where we had the class initially, and we're taking the exam. So this is a closed book exam, uh, no open book stuff here. Uh, the, core, uh, the core test was 90 questions, really wasn't all that bad. I kind of just flew through it. Uh, it it's, uh, the, the, the hardest part about it was uh, some of the formulations were a little crazy and a little convoluted. Like um, s some of the stuff is just, you know, like, are you really going to have to do that kind of calculation? But they are testing you on the worst case scenario. So doing the conversions and all that stuff was a little challenging, but they teach you all how to do it there that day. So I highly recommend you go to the course. Uh, then we rolled into the five, uh, category five test, which was 50 questions. Um, the only challenging part on that I found was um, identifying the weeds in the little pictures. They were decent pictures, but they weren't all that great. Um, some of the definitions were a little crazy. Um, and then you kind of got to you got to read between the lines when it comes to label reading and kind of make your own conclusions. So it's a little subjective, but nonetheless, the test is kind of set up uh, pretty well for you. So uh, I'm not here to give you anything uh, that will help you through this. Uh, literally, I had to earn it. So you're going to have to earn it. Um, I'm not here to give any giveaways. Um, I'm just here to um, definitely tell you that the class is is 
100% awesome and the ladies did an awesome job teaching everything you needed to know for the test. Uh, first time go, as I call it, uh, I passed on the first time around uh, pretty easy. Um, I guess now once you've gotten through the test, they give you a little piece of paper that will show your, uh, that will show your commercial applicator ID and then it will tell you how to obtain your results. So you'll be able to see it. Uh, I saw mine in less than a week. I took it last Wednesday and um, on Sunday night I was able to see my results. So the Scantron goes through the system and um, happens pretty quickly. So uh, there was that. Um, I don't know what else I want to talk about with the class. Uh, we went over closed book. Uh, the agenda for the day was uh, pretty jam-packed. Uh, I was pretty much there from 8 to 5. Um, that's another thing about the test is it's closed book and it's not timed but you have a time limit to get out of the building to get off the campus before they close. So I took about an hour and a half to take 90 plus 50 questions, 140 questions, um, took me about 90 minutes. So, you know, it, it really wasn't that difficult. Um, and, you know, I can see, you, you know, if you needed some more time, you know, they give you another hour, um, definitely had plenty of time to finish the test. Uh, yeah. So just to go over what we had already talked about, um, just reiterate the $35 when you sign up to get your study material, that registers you for the license and registers you, uh, gets you sent all of your study material. Then if you want to take the class, you have to pay the $35 and the $30 for the core class and the afternoon uh, uh, specific commercial pesticide applicator class. Um, and I found those very helpful. So I spent $100 altogether in the process, um, and it was really kind of turnkey. I really didn't have to worry about it. They taught me everything I needed to know on the spot, and um, I felt a lot more comfortable than just doing all of the reading that I had been doing and kind of just poking around in the book and trying to figure out what the heck I was doing. So I hope this helps somebody in the future, and um, as always, um, if you are not subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate that subscription. If you find value in my content, I'd love to see you around. And uh, as always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you'd like to stick around the channel, I'm doing all kinds of man stuff. So, uh, you know, you might find something that you like on here. And uh, click around on my channel, follow me on Instagram, or uh, hit me up on Facebook. So... Hope to see you guys in the next video.